So Mistral, the French AI company, has announced a new large language model and uh, it's comparable with the other big ones that we see out there. And in this video, I want to take it for a test drive. They have a chat service, just like you can find with ChatGPT or with Gemini or with Claude. So you can just ask it questions using the web. There's also an API, so you can do it from from Python, for example. If you'd like to see a video about that, please do let me know in the comments below and we'll see about accessing Mistral via uh, Python. But in this video, I wanna take it through some questions, asking it some logic questions, some maths questions, some programming questions to see how it does. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so here we are on the Mistral chat homepage. Nice logo there and the traditional ask me something, ask me anything box. So the first question we're gonna ask it is a logic question. So let's just cut and paste that in there. So three teams take part in a basketball tournament, list of teams, the winning team scores three points. I then give a list of who beat who. And the question is which team won the tournament? So let's go ahead and see what it makes of that. So based on the information provided, the Tigers won the tournament, here's why. And then it goes through all the reasons and the Tigers have six points, the Running Cardinals have three points, the Hoop Kings have zero, and that is absolutely correct. So it's taken that text, and it's understood it correctly, uh, that's the correct answer. Okay, here should be a simple one for it. We just cut and paste a sentence about some objects that are on a shelf and we're wondering what color is the bowl. So it's gonna, the bowl is ocean blue, which is correct. So again, brilliant result there. Okay, now I'm gonna ask it my favorite movie question. So what we do is we say there are five movies. Which one is the most similar to Star Wars episode four? The Princess Bride, The Father of the Bride, Trains, Planes and Automobiles, To Kill a Mockingbird and The Matrix. And there has been some controversy because some LLMs have said that actually The Princess Bride actually fits better into the pattern than uh, The Matrix because although it's not science fiction, the, the idea of the story and the plot in it is actually close. Let's see what uh, Mistral says. The similar movies to the whole was given five is The Matrix. Okay, and it goes on to say they are both sci-fi films. They're both about a, a hero's journey, a battle between good and evil. So I'm happy with that result. That's not an incorrect result. Uh, it's just interesting to see the opinion, uh, if we can use that word, the opinion that these LLMs give on that. So again, a good result there. And now my sports question. So we're dealing with soccer. So football, as we'd say over here uh, in Europe. So is the following sentence uh, plausible? Gary Lineker, that's a famous footballer, was deemed offside from his position in the changing rooms. And uh, it says, no, the sentence is not plausible. A player cannot be deemed offside from a position in the changing room as it only applies to players on the pitch and so on. So again, <laughs> top marks here. So I'm finding it actually quite hard to get Mistral to make a misstep here. So this is pretty impressive. Okay, so the next test to see how good it is at correcting English, both grammatical mistakes and spelling mistakes and typos. I suppose that would, if there's a difference between spelling mistake and typo, I don't know, but let's have a look. So I've got this text here. For example, if we look at it, South Africa has got two A's in it. Okay, uh, kilometers has got a, a C there rather than a K. Nambia there's got that capital M. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've got uh, things like and are a popular destination and is a popular destination and so on. So let's see whether it can correct that. Going through the mainland, longest with its borders, the river spans kilometers with a C, correct, forming part of the international border, spelt uh, the river serves as a vital habitat and is a popular. Brilliant. So it's corrected that absolutely perfect. Okay, so now we've got four more tests left. These are all to do with programming, two programming creation tests and two bug fixing tests. So this first one asks it to write a Python script. It's basically just some random stuff I wanted it to do. It's not a, some algorithm that it would just regurgitate uh, from online because it's, it, you know, it's, it's found somewhere else. I'm asking it to do things that are, I think are pretty unique. Let's see whether it can do it. Okay, so here's the code and looking at that code, that seems to be about right. Uh, top marks there, not a problem. Maybe this next test would be a bit of a better, greater challenge. Write C code that compiles and evaluate a mathematical expression like four plus five in brackets in, and then multiply by two plus one. So there's order of precedence here and all that kind of stuff. Let's see whether it can go ahead and do that. Here is C code to do that using the shunting yard algorithm. By the way, would you like a video about the shunting yard uh, algorithm? That could be quite interesting. If you do, please let me know in the comments below and maybe we'll have a look at that. So here's the code that it's got. Okay, looks pretty good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut and paste it in a moment into a C program uh, and just try and run it. 
and make sure that it works okay. So it's compiled without any problem and here's the code and it basically does infix post and then the result is nine, does get it right. Okay, last two tests. In this bit of code, there is an overflow bug and I'm asking it to find the overflow bug for me. Uh, and it's going here that it's larger than an int can hold for num1 and num2, that's correct. Let's see what the code it does. In this modified code, we cast num2 to long long before adding it to num1. This ensures that the result of the addition will be at least as large as a long long, which can hold much larger ranges than int. So it's forcing this part in here to be a long long because you're adding an int to a long long, even though the long long is the second one, and then the whole thing's being cast below. So I think that will work. Yep, so good result. And the final test I've got for it, this is some CRC32 code. Basically, uh, it's code that I copied from uh, a forum. I then got another AI to rewrite it so that it would actually not re resemble exactly what was in the forum. So it can just be squirting out, you know, a kind of a verbatim answer from some other forum post. So the code's unique in that sense. Then I added in this line here to add one to I, which you don't need to do because it's already being incremented here in the loop. I hope you know some C programming. And so I've asked it now to find out uh, what's wrong with this code. And let's go ahead and see what it says. We also need to remove the extra i is equal to i plus one, which was actually the which was actually the problem there. Okay, so again, I've cut and pasted the code. I've compiled it, it compiles okay. And that actually is the right answer. So it took out that i is equal to i plus one thing. That is the right answer. Okay, so there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.